Now, before we go, I wanted to share something with you that's been bothering me for a very long time. Holidays are coming, money's tight, we are in an economic crisis. Most of the world is suffering right along with us. But the way to solve this, the way that local, state, federal legislators are trying to do it is by hurting the little people and letting go the people that we need the most. Paramedics, school teachers, college teachers, firefighters. I think that's the wrong way to go about it. For example, Cleveland, Ohio, great town. They are very proud that they shrank government by letting 321 people go. They, they closed out those jobs. Now, more than a third of those people were cops. Patterson, New Jersey, nice little place, laid off 125 police officers. So did it make that town more economically viable? Did it make it a better place to live? No. 15% spike in crime. Flint, Michigan, I've been there, lovely town. It laid off two-thirds of its police force. Did that make it a safer place? Did it make, her, make it better quality of life to live in that city? No. It's become one of the small city murder capitals of the U.S. And you know what? Who's going to pay for the economic meltdown, the huge debt? How about companies? Companies have made more money than in the whole history of the world, and they've done it with less people. Some of the Fortune 500 companies pay no state taxes at all. We all know about GE not paying federal taxes. But the way to solve this is not to let go the people that we need the most. If your house is burning down and you call the fire department and there's four fires ahead of you and they can't get to you and save your biggest investment because you're fourth on the list, you're not going to get somebody from Wall Street or from a Fortune 500 company to put your fire out. Poverty is one of the ways that we increase crime, the crime spike in this country is because of poverty. So why would we ever let the teachers go? There's not going to be less NBA players this year. There's not going to be less NFL players. And big movie stars aren't taking a big salary cut. But how about the Fortune 500 people going into the schools and teaching classes? I doubt it. You can't lay off teachers. And what if your child's missing? What if somebody's in burglarizing your house? And you're in one of those cities that have cut two-thirds of their police force, and they say the five cops that are left are on something else. And who's going to come and save you then? Citigroup, Wells Fargo, big banking company? No, it's because the cops are being cut. It's a quick fix, but it's not a good fix. Got to make the corporations pay more money. We can't let these people go. You've got to speak up. You've got to call your legislator. You've got to write them. You've got to email them. We need every cop that was on the streets before. We need more teachers than ever. They're the lowest paid on the totem pole. And paramedics save lives every day. We've got to speak up.